Hi everybody, it's Jennifer McCreeth, July 31st, 2013. Getting closer, the St. John City election. Seven and a half weeks away. So I'd take this opportunity to review uh, names of the people that have already come forward. For the mayor, Jeff Chalk, Dennis O'Keefe, Sheila O'Leary, Deputy Mayor Ron Ellsworth, Ward 1, Danny Breen, Ward 2, Andrew Harvey, John Galgay, Simon Lono, and Scott Fitzgerald. Ward 3, Bruce Tilly, Sarah Penny, Walter Harding. Ward 4, Bernard Davis, Lou Putterster. Ward 5, Wally Collins. At large, Tom Hans, Cecil Wheaton, Dave Lane, Derek Windsor, Fred Rinser, Sandy Hickman, Art Potister, and of course, undecided is Jennifer McCreeth. Undecided? Why would one remain undecided? Well, I'm undecided. Take a look at that list. See a lot of people that have been in city council for many years. See some new faces. See a lot of rich, retired people. How many women on that list? Two, maybe? How many people younger than 40? Very few. St. John's, Newfoundland. What kind of city do you want? I mean, this election is a huge step. We're going through astronomical economic growth that's leading to astronomical challenges. Problems that could be turned into opportunities, but problems that could also completely change what this city looks like. We're already feeling the impact. The federal government twisted the arm of the city to give them half a million dollars to build a security fence. Building proposals and pressure is coming in to build high, tall-rise buildings and significant amount of parking spaces. Urban sprawl continues to be an issue. Transportation in and around the city is a problem. Sidewalks are never shoveled in the winter. A lot of issues. A lot of things we've got to think about St. John's. Are these people the right people? I mean, I'm throwing my name into the hat on this ballot because I'm not happy. I'm not satisfied with uh, what the existing council has done. There's a lot of good people on there, but I think there's puppets in there that do what they're told by provincial and federal parties. I think there's people on there that are doing what they're doing because they have personal interests, perhaps conflict of interests that we don't know about. I gotta be honest, I'm really concerned about this mayor thing. I don't trust any of those candidates. I think some of them are, are nothing more than the mouthpieces and the puppets for provincial government. Political parties are not, are not supposed to be involved in the municipal level. We're all supposed to be independent. You want independent folks? Vote for me, Jennifer McCreeth. I don't care who wins that election to be mayor. I might as well make it official. I'm not running for mayor. I'm going to run for one of the other positions. But I think we need someone who can keep that mayor in line and make sure they're not just being a puppet, doing what they're told by Thomas Mulcair or Stephen Harper or... Kathy Dunderdale, or God knows who. There have been a lot of controversial decisions made that make absolutely no sense, given to what I've seen online, what the people of this city really want. Get off your ass and vote, by the way, for those of you who don't. Um, vote for me if you want change. Vote for the others if you're happy with the status quo. I bring new, vibrant, interesting, diverse ideas to the table. I don't have that silver spoon in my mouth. I'm not rich, retired pensioner. I don't want this job for power or hobby. I want this job because I want a paycheck. Nobody wants to hire Jennifer McCreeth because I'm a transgender person. Well, you know what? That has no effect on my ability to do great work. And I think my record shows speaks for itself. I just wanted to acknowledge that, yes, I am on the ballot. And later on, I will announce uh, which position I'm going to run for. You tell me, folks. What do you think? Where, where, where do you think Jennifer McCreeth fits best? How can we best make this city council work? Is it with me in a major role or is it me in a sp minor supporting role? Maybe it's me not on city council. You have that vote, people. 
But don't sit back and let the same old, same old people vote in the same old, same old people who are going to give it the same old, same old city that you disgusted with. If anything, do yourself a favor. Do, do your fellow citizens a favor. Go through my list of people I just named and see if they have websites. Learn a little bit more about them. Who are these people? What is their background? What do they stand for? What's their vision for this province? Can I trust them? What will they do if they're faced with having to stand up to Kathy Dunderdale or Stephen Harper? I know. I'm not going to put up with crap from anyone. I'm here to meet with anyone, to work with anyone, and make this city a better place. Um, if you don't want a puppet, then definitely vote. Vote for Jennifer McCreeth onto this city council. And for those of you that might not like me or might have some issues with me, try to put personal feelings beyond that and, and, and look at the resume of, of body of work. Also think that it could be could be ten guys from the big old rich boys club and Jennifer McCreeth. I might be the only minority on there. I mean all I'm asking is give me a chance to be a part of this team. I think I've got a lot of great ideas. I think I've demonstrated through the various nonprofit work I've done that I care about this city and I care about finding a fine mix. Anyways, I'm not going to give you my whole platform now. Uh, I'm going to work it on it. It's going to be a website. It's tough, no? Tough to campaign when you have a day job. A lot of these people just take the time off. Heck, I still got to pay my rent. So it's going to be tough. Don't know how to get my voice out there other than blogs. I'm not going to be spending thousands of dollars on election signs because I just I don't have that in my budget. I think it's a waste. I'm not going to litter this city with plastic signs. I don't think that's what anyone wants to see. Probably see me on television, on the news, the radio. I mean, I'll have some things to say. I might take some cheap shots, but that's the way politics is. I respect everyone who puts their name on the ballot, but I honestly think it's time for some of the folks to move on. I think I bring br bright, fresh, new ideas, and uh, I'd like your vote. And uh, if you're not convinced, get in touch. Ask me any question you like. I will respond to emails. Um, get to know me. Get to know my ideas. Because ultimately, I want to work for you. I want to get to know what you people want. What do you want out of this city? What's wrong with this city? And how can we fix that? I've never heard a politician reach out like that and say, what do you want for your city? So there you have it. Jennifer McCreeth running for political office. City of St. John's Municipal Election, September 23rd. Name will be on the ballot. Specifically where it will be announced later. Thank you for watching this promo. I'm Jennifer McCreeth.